have another Christmas critter for you today. Meet Frosty. Frosty the Bunny. Frosty the Bunny. That works. It yeah. works perfectly. Hi, Laura Clark from the Watkins Humane Society. Good morning. You brought us a very cool cat. I or did. Bunny. Bunny. Cool critter. Yeah, he is just laid back and enjoying his uh, time in your arms. Bill asked if he was on. What did you ask, Bill? Well, I, he seems a little sleepy. I was wondering <laughs> if it was so early in the morning. W- was he on uh, Bunny Nip? He, <laughs> he, not that I'm aware of, okay. but right. you know, I haven't I been with him. don't know if he had a problem him. or not. Um, yeah. Does Do bunnies respond to catnip? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. That's something I actually don't know. Let's not recommend it. All right. Um, good. Maybe bunnies, rabbit.org would explain that. Perhaps. Yeah. Rabbit.org, best website ever for rabbit care. What he does respond to is dark leafy greens okay. and a high quality hay um, and plenty of love and TLC. Oh, and yeah. boy, this guy is so sweet. He's been in my arms since we arrived. He is the cleanest bunny I have ever been around. Uses his litter box without fail. Keeps everything in his cage clean. Now, one really important thing to remember is when you get a bunny or another small animal, you got to keep those cages clean. If you're going to keep them in a cage for any amount of time, you got to keep them clean. They have to have access to fresh water, um, high quality food. But this guy also needs time outside his cage. He needs to hop around. He wants to be a member of the family. Um, Bunnies chew, so you have to bunny proof your house. So things like electrical cords, that's just good fun for a bunny that's not a myth that is not a myth they really do that right they really do and it's pretty easy to bunny proof your house again rabbit.org will help you um kind of learn how to do that so you don't have any accidents but this guy would love nothing more than a big roomy cage with a bunny litter box and they actually make special bunny litter boxes they're taller in the back um, because bunnies potty a little differently everybody poops it was a book um (laughs) so it must be true (laughs) it's exactly And then he needs a good high quality diet, but plenty of time outside that cage where he can hop around. He'd love to watch the Seahawks play. Sure. Um, I think um, he would like his own little Seahawk bunny jacket. Oh, Mm -hmm. okay. Do they make those? He could be the 12th bunny. Good. I Mm -hmm. like it. Yep. And just, just, he's going to be a great companion for somebody. Normally we say little kids aren't the best bet for bunnies because little kids squeeze but this guy's so mellow, he might do well in a home with respectful kids yeah. or a home that has other bunnies. Just a great, great companion and super sweet. Okay, looks, I, what, looks like he checks off his organizational chart every day, yeah. doesn't he? He does. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. He's a great organizer. Mm-hmm. When, a, when an animal is kept in a cage, I always... It makes me a little sad because I'm a social being, mm-hmm. and I, I project that onto critters. Are bunnies social? Do they like to be around people and other animals? Absolutely. And again, rabbit.org is a great website to help you um, learn how to introduce your bunny to other animals, including other bunnies. There's a whole procedure that they recommend you do there, as well as bunnies can successfully live in homes with dogs and cats and other animals too. But yeah, this guy doesn't want to live in a cage by himself with with no one to hang out with. He wants to be social. He wants to be kind of like your cruise director in the house. Sure. Hmm. Um, so he's going to need time outside that cage. Again, it's really important if you're leaving him unattended in the house that you bunny proof your house. Otherwise, you're going to come home and your favorite computer wire, your cell phone cord, things like that are going to yeah. take a beating. Now, we're not sure how old he is. We aren't. He's a young male. And before he goes home to his new great new home, he will be spayed or neutered, neutered in his case, yeah. and microchipped, which comes with all of our bunny adoptions. Excellent. Had he been microchipped before, he probably would be back with his original owners. Yeah, somebody lost him and didn't come looking for him, and it's really their loss because this is a great, great rabbit. He does seem just really cool. He also strikes me as a big bunny, but you tell me he's not all that large. He's not really that big. He's just normal sized, but we have a couple really big bunnies at the shelter right now so if you are looking for a companion animal whether it's a dog or a cat or a bunny a hamster a bird a horse anything in between please come down and visit us or check our website walkhamhumane.org because chances are we have it very good all right well laura clark thank you so much happy holidays thank you for yeah, merry uh, christmas for merry coming in christmas. On, on christmas week you bet and thanks to everybody out there who's working over the holidays we sure do appreciate it especially the staff and the volunteers at the whatcom humane society laura clark from the whatcom humane society thank you so much have a great week